In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to cut with another surface and then to finally shell our solid. So first I'll control tab back to this part. This time we're going to offset this cut face. So from the surface ribbon bar, I'm going to choose offset surface. 50 thou is remembered from last time. What I need to do is rotate around and maybe zoom in, make sure I see which way the offset is. It's external, so I'll flip it so it goes internal and I'll say OK. Next, I'm going to hide that body again so I just see this surface. And again, we're going to make a ruled surface with all the same settings as before. So I'll just right click on this edge, tell, select the open loop. The preview looks good. I'll right click and I'll accept that. But before I do, I want to point out even though the trim and knit option is here, it may not work. So I'll say OK. And then I'll have a look and it didn't work. And I know that because I see two separate surfaces here. So there must be a small gap issue again. I'm going to zoom out a bit. I'm going to tell I want to knit the surface to this one. And there was. There was two small gaps that will be corrected. And I'll say OK. Again, I'm going to add a 20 thou fillet. So I'm going to select fillet. Should remember the size from last time. I'm just going to zoom in and rotate around. I'll select this edge. Then I'll make sure I have all the edges selected. I'll right click and accept that. So everything looks good. Zoom out a bit. I'll turn the visibility of the solid back on and again I'm going to tell it to cut with the surface. And I'll select this surface. The arrow is pointing the wrong way. I want it pointing out away from the surface. So I'll say OK. And there I've cut that part. So I'm going to hide this surface now and minimize that. And here's how my solid looks so far. So next I'm going to add another 20 thou fillet to these edges here. Again, I'll use the Selection Manager to get them all. And then to these edges, I'm going to give it a minute, make sure it gets all the proper edges. Right click to accept it. We'll double check that the fillet went all the way around and it didn't. I missed a little bit here. So I'm going to go back and edit that fillet or I can just say fillet and add the one I didn't quite get. I'll select this edge. We'll wait for the propagation. And again, it didn't go all the way around, but let's have a look. So now I still don't quite have this edge filled. It. This time I will edit this fillet and I'll add this edge. I'll wait for the preview. Now it looks good. I'll say OK. And again, I'll just double check that I have the fillet completely around the part. I'll go back to my isometric view. Last thing I want to do is go to the features tab and I want to shell this part. I'm going to remove the top face and I'm going to make the thickness of the shell 20 thou. And I'll say OK. And then I've shelled the part. And I have a fancy shoe for my pet giraffe, I guess. 